Hey, what's up, everybody? Anubrita here with PS Craft, and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial on my channel. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a quick way of sharpening your images. Well, let me tell you this first. Uh, in this method, you won't get a whole lot of control over the sharpening thing, but uh, this is indeed a very quick and a very effective way of sharpening your images. So, let me show you what I'm talking about, and uh, let's get started with the first step. Well, the first step is duplicating the layer so I'm gonna press ctrl plus J that would duplicate my layer and now I'm gonna convert it to a smart object so right click convert to smart object so uh, I did this because uh, uh, maybe later on down the line if I change my mind I can come back over here and change the uh, filter settings that I applied on this layer okay so uh, so now the next step is going to filter and then other and high pass now as you can see over here uh, this high pass filter turned over image gray and is showing as the edges uh, you don't want to go crazy with the slider uh, you don't want to go anything past 4.5 or something like that uh, ve be very subtle with this and be very careful with the slider I'm gonna add a 2.5 pixels of radius and then click on OK and now we're going to change the blending mode from normal to overlay and that's going to take out the grays from the layer because the uh, neutral color for overlay is 50% uh, gray so that takes away the gray and leaves the sharpening on the edges okay now uh, if I turn this thing on and off uh, we have got a change right off the bat as you can see over here if this effect is too strong for you you can uh, turn the opacity down that way the sharpening would become less obvious or what you can do is paint over specific parts of the image like you want the eyes to be sharpened uh, the hair or the highlights of the hair to be sharpened so I'm gonna do that now and show you how it's done uh, first of all delete this uh, filter mask and add a new layer but uh, while adding a new layer I'm gonna hold down the alt or option key and uh, add a new mask what that's gonna do is block out the whole sharpening because black conceals and white reveals when it comes to masks okay so as you can see over here if I turn this on and off uh, I see no difference because this black mask is totally concealing the sh my, my sharpened layer so now to see this uh, see the sharpening in uh, the areas I like what I have to do is take my brush tool and change the foreground color to white and then paint over the areas that paint over the areas where I would like to see the sharpening so let's say I'm sharpening my eyes so I'm gonna paint with my brush over the eyes and that's gonna bring out the sharpening over there and then I'm gonna paint this eye and uh, maybe the curls the highlights over here that's gonna make it look better like over there and here maybe some over here uh, maybe this side and over here this side and over here and maybe some of the lips like that and uh, that looks pretty much good for this tutorial and now I'm gonna zoom up and turn this layer on and off and you'll be able to see the difference so that is how you do it that's the quickest way of sharpening your image and making your image look good so give it a spin you might like it you might find it useful and I've also got another example over here where I have already done all the sharpening and masking and see if I turn this on and off as you can see uh, there's a difference in the eyes and the hair it's uh, making the hair the highlights of the hair and the glint of the eyes uh, pop so uh, give it a spin give this method a try you might like it it might work for you that would be all for this tutorial thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel if you like this video and uh, with all of that said i'll talk to you in the next one